During my childhood, I read the book Helen Keller. The author of the book is Helen Adam Keller. I was in fifth grade when I read this book. I read it for a book report for school. The first time I read it, I didn't understand it. My mother had to read parts of it to me so I could understand it. The second time I read it, I read it just for fun because it was an interesting book to read. The book was about how Helen Keller was not able to hear, talk, and see. It was said how, how her life was without seeing, talking, and hearing. She had to learn sign language in order to communicate with others around her. Although she was deafblind, she was the first person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree. It also talks about how Anna Selvin, Keller's teacher, broke through the isolation by helping her to communicate with others. She played roles in significant political, social, and cultural movements of the 20th century. Even though Helen Keller had her own problems with her body, she helped others. New information that I learned about this topic is no matter what, if you can't see, hear, talk, you can still do something in your life. You are still able to do things. Helen Keller showed many people that anything is possible to do. It doesn't matter in what condition you are in. I also learned that there are different ways to communicate. Sign language is the type of communication that is useful. Reading this book is a positive experience for me. There are people in the world that can play for the little things and isolate themselves from everyone. Learning about Helen Keller made me realize that even though you're going through something, isolation is not the key word. She still was involved with the world and with people. I admire Helen Keller because it takes a lot to do the things she did. Nothing stopped her from doing what she wanted to do. After reading this book, it made me want to read more books.